Hi. After we have seen the probabilistic framework of uh, just statistical estimators, in this lecture we are going to see how to get the Krieging estimate. Well, Krieging is a general name of a large family of estimators, but in this lecture we are going to talk about the most common of those estimators, which is called the ordinary Krieging. Well, this lecture contains some mathematical developments and demonstrations. You can see them in detail in recommended references, but for now, the most important thing is to understand the link between the mathematical components of ordinary Krieging estimator and the physical phenomena that uh, we intend to model. Hi, uh, this lecture, this model 3, uh, is about uh, the ordinary Krieging. Now, ordinary Krieging, this is an uh, estimator of uh, the value z at location x0 based on the, the linear combination of the surrounding sample values zx of alpha. For example, in this very simple, in simple illustration here, we have we, what we want is a weighted average of those three sample values to get a good estimate of the x zero at location x zero. Now, considering uh, the estimation error here is the difference between the estimate and the real value, what we want is to get an estimator the ordinary green, uh, that takes into account the, these two quality criteria regarding the estimation error. The first one we, we, we want, which is called unbiasedness, just tell us that the expectation of the error should be equal to zero. And the second one is regarding the, the variance of this error. We want the minimum estimation variance. Now, Let's see how to impose those two quality criteria to, to obtain in order to obtain our ordinary clicking estimator. And starting by the unbiased condition. Let's just tell us that the expectation of our uh, of, of our estimator is equal to the expectation of the real values at the same location. Now uh, assuming that uh, uh, assuming that the, the, the error is the, this difference that we know, uh, the difference between the estimator and the real value. This unbiased condition is the same that uh, that uh, is, is, this is the same that uh, the expectation of the error is equal to zero. Now expanding this expectation of the error, like this, and rewrite the estimator as this linear combination of the sample values. And uh, as this expectation is a linear operator, can jump into this sum, and uh, we come up to this expression here. Now, given the stationary assumption of the mean, that just tells me that, uh, that we assume that all random variables uh, have the same mean, m, we can replace in this expression come up to this one here. So the unbiasedness condition implies that the sum of uh, lambda alpha must be equal to one. The sum of the weights should be equal to one. This is the first condition that we wish to impose to our ordinary Krieging uh, estimator. Now let's see the, the second quality criteria, the minimum variance of the error. So the variance of the error can be written uh, this way here, this square, the square of this difference. Now expanding the, uh, <coughs> the, 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 the square, we got these three terms here. Now, once the variogram model, gamma of H, or the covariance model is considered representative of entire field, the estimation variance can be written in, with those three terms here. The first term, for example, doing the same, the, this operator, expectation operator comes inside, inside the double sum, and we get uh, the first term as a function of the covariance between, uh, between the sample values, the x alpha, the x beta. The third term, same way, 
is a, a linear combination of the covariance between the sample and the point to be estimated. The second term is the covariance between point and the point itself. Now we come to the final expression of the variance as a function <coughs> which is dependent on the, um, on the covariance between the samples here and also also inversely dependent on the, the covariance between the samples and the point to be estimated. Now it, it is important to remark that by minimizing the estimation variance, how it affects the properties of the Krieging estimator. Let us see the clustering effect of samples. We know that the more samples are clustered, the worse is the estimator, like in this case here. And on the contrary, the, uh, this is better. This, this, uh, this case is better because there's no cluster and we take more advantage of available information, the three samples. Now, how it works in terms of uh, estimation variance? The covariance here, <coughs> uh, the covariance between samples are lower and the variance, the estimation variance, is lower and the estimate is better. Let's see the other property, structural proximity. Oh, it means the effect of samples, Zx of alpha, and the estimated covariance. So we know that the closest, like in this case, the closest are the samples to the point to, to be estimated. The better is the estimator once we have more information. In fact, the covariance in this case between samples and estimated point increases and the estimation variance decreases. So this is comes to a better, uh, a better estimator. Now let's come back to the second quality criteria, which is the minimization of the summation variance. We want to minimize the summation variance now written in terms of the, those uh, covariance, covariance between samples and samples and point to, to be estimated, but and under the constraint the sum of lambda alpha is equal to 1, the first quality criteria. We are going to use the classical Lagrange multiplier technique, which consists by adding one more term to this expression here, uh, knowing that this term is null, is equal to 0. And uh, the minimization of this variance, this emission variance, consists basically in calculating the hand plus 1 partial derivatives in order to to the unknowns lambda or the weights lambda alpha and this mu which is Lagrange parameter and setting them to zero all of this uh, of these equations as special derivatives so the n plus one equation system gives the solution of n plus one unknowns the, the n weights, we know that the n weights which satisfy the mice condition and the minimum estimation variance. Note that this is, a, we know that this is a minimum, uh, is a minimum because this, uh, very, this estimation variance here is a convex function. Now the solution of these n plus one equations can be written this way, we got uh, the hand weights here, lambda alpha plus the, the, the Lagrange parameter. <coughs> so the ordinary green system gives this the, <coughs> the, the solution of those hand weights, like this here. So based on this, uh, once we know the weights, you can calculate the estimator, which is our final goal, the ordinary Krieging estimator. And the Krieging variance. Here. <clears throat> now we we can call we usually call this estimation variance as the Krieging variance is big, uh, once it is derived by the weights calculated by the Krieging equations that we see, have seen before, and the Krieging variance can be written in the simplest way as a function of the covariance between samples. The Krieging system 
can also be described in terms of variograms. So this is a classical expression that relates the variograms and the, the covariance. So we can just replace the covariance by the variograms. Also, the summation, vari can, the summation variance can be written in terms of the variograms between samples and the points we estimated. <coughs> Now, for numerical calculus, we can rewrite the ordinary grading system in matrix notation. So let's uh, <coughs> let's take the matrix K, <coughs> capital K, as the covariance matrix between samples. This one here. This is covariance between x1 and x1, x1, x2, x1, x3, etc. Et et Second line, x2, x1, etc. You can notice that this is a triangular matrix, a symmetric, sorry, matrix. Uh, uh, now let's uh, let's take the the matrix M, which is the covariance matrix between samples and the points to be estimated. This one here, between covariance between sample x1 and x0, x2 and x0, and so on. And <coughs> the vector or the matrix of the lambda, the weight the way that you want to to calculate. So the, the ordinary creating system can be written like this. The internal product of k and lambda is equal to m. And this is the, the solution, which is no else than the inverse of k times the internal product with m. Now, if we define z, this matrix z, as the vector of sample values, like this one here, the estimator is equal to this expression. Now, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's recap the main steps of the ordinary Krieging estimator. So suppose the very simple example, three samples and one point to be estimated. So the first thing, we calculate the distance between each pair of samples, like in this all this is zx1, zx2, zx1, zx3, zx2, zx3. And the all distances, I mean the Euclidean distance between each sample and the point to be estimated. Now, in second step, we transform the Euclidean distance into structural distances. I mean, I transform the Euclidean distance in covariances or variograms through the model that I consider stationary for all for all my entire study area so now once we get the the covariances uh, we can put them in terms of the the matrix k covariance between samples and matrix m covariance between samples and point to be estimated so after solving this equation the inverse of k the product, internal product with them, we get the, the solution, the weights, lambda. Well, uh, once we have the, the, the weights, we can calculate the ordinary green estimator of zero x0 zero in this case. In this case is this linear combination of those three samples. And also we could get also the estimation variance. So we, um, here comes the some references on this topic of spatial inference, the Krieging, ordinary Krieging. Uh, the Isaacs and Silva Sava book, uh, the introductory book, uh, the Pierre Gouvert's book, Just Statistics for Natural Resource Evaluation, the classical André Journal and Charles Wilsberg, Mining Just Statistics, and for, again, for the readers, <coughs> Portuguese readers, you can find this book, Just Statistica para as Ciências da Terra e do Ambiente.